Greetings everyone, Kenneth Westerby here. I run, as you know, a lot of the things we are doing around GPUs in the data center. And today I'm coming from you in Spain where I'm joined by Mark Hurst from Nectine, who is one of the partners we have on this. And Mark, explain to me a little, what are we showing here today? Hi Kenneth, so we're showing a, uh, a system which built around the, the architecture, the FlexPod. However, we're really showing some really cool graphics on top of that. So what we have, if I can show you, is we have some different kinds of applications. This system is actually running in Norway right now, so it's a three and a half, uh, three and a half hour flight away from here in Spain. And it gives us the ability to use these graphic intensive applications and really play with them. It feels like we're local even though we're so far away, and we can do this extreme resolution. <laughs> Another great one we have over here is some uh, medical DICOM imagery. I'm able to manipulate these images, uh, I can bring up the human form, I can feel about the individual layers. If I'm a doctor, I can connect to this from, uh, from across the country, from across the world. I can bring in people to help collaborate. So it just gives us some great user capabilities here. How much bandwidth are we currently using? I'm glad you asked that, actually. Uh, we're using about five megabits per second for, for a dual HD display. So, and it only, we only actually use bandwidth when we change the pixels on the screen. So this is an extremely secure, very efficient way of doing it. And we're not adding any additional latency. So if you have 50 milliseconds of latency between your different locations, we're not adding anything on top of that. So that user experience is key. And that's what really sets this solution apart. So there you have it, people. Um, medical DICOMs in real time, three and a half hour flights away using a five megabit connection. It's quite spectacular what we can do here at NetApp. Thank you, goodbye.